Hey guys, so we decided to take a break from our traveling videos for a little while. It's starting to settle down. There is a couple more places we want to go, but we want to play it safe right now. Um, Sarah is very, very pregnant and she has a hard time anyways. So anyways, we figured we'd take this time and do a few more recipe videos. And today, since it's September, it's almost mid-September, um, we're going to share some of our fall recipes with you. Today we're going to share you with you the pumpkin scone recipes that we like to use. They're very good. You can substitute the pumpkin yeah. with applesauce and diced yeah. apples and do um, yeah. like a spiced apple scone as well. Yeah. He's yeah. excited about them. Yeah. Yeah. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. <laughs> So I got Bear with me helping with the first few ingredients. So you're gonna start off with four and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Yeah. Let me scoop it and I'll, you put it in there, all right? All right, dump it in there. Count it, one. Okay, our next ingredient we go. is half a cup of packed brown sugar. So Bubby here, he's gonna help me with that one. Half a cup of packed brown sugar. Stick it in there. Good job. That actually came out all the way pretty good, yeah. didn't it? All right, for your next steps, for the next ingredients, you have to put in Four teaspoons of baking powder, and Boogie here is going to help me with that. She washed her hands beforehand, so she gets no boogies in this game. Daddy, I'm already getting the dad look for my kids. to be three teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice. you need to add, which is also another key ingredient, is good old ground cinnamon. You're going to put a teaspoon of that in there as well. So dump it in there. Okay, next we are going to add half a teaspoon of baking soda. So Bear's going to help me with this one. Dump it in there. Good job. All right, we're also gonna add half a teaspoon of salt. So we'll put that in there as well. Here, dump it in there. Good job. All right. Bear is mixing it up real good now, so you want to get all your dry ingredients good and mixed up. And while he's doing that, you want to make sure to turn your oven on to 400 degrees. So I'm going to go ahead and preheat the oven to do that right now. Alright, I got Bird here who just happened to wake up from a nap, so she looks a little groggy. Are you groggy? No? Okay. So the next step is you're going to add half a, or a whole cup of cold butter. Now you can either do like I'm gonna do and cut the butter into your dry mixture, or you can take and freeze your butter and then once it's good and solid, run it up through a cheese grater. Um, I do it the old fashioned way, so that's what we're gonna do. So Bird here is gonna add the butter to it. Add that one in, Just pick up the whole thing and dump it in, just like that. 
you're using sticks of butter, it's two full sticks. That's our washing machine if you're wondering. Okay guys, so now that we got our dry mixture all situated, we have our butter cut in, we're actually going to set this bowl to the side and get a new bowl for our wet mixture. Okay, so for your wet ingredients, we're going to add a cup and a quarter cups of just regular puree canned pumpkin. It smells like, it smells like, it smells like pumpkin. Oh, man, it smells like baby pumpkin. I'm serious, it Interesting like... fact. Did y'all know that most of the ingredients in canned pumpkin actually isn't pumpkin? What? It's, uh, it's other, other squashes all mixed together. At least that's what I'm talking about. ingredient into our wet mixture is going to be half a cup of milk. So Bear is going to help me do that. Alright, let's dump it in there. Alright, good job. Okay, Bird's going to stir up our, or excuse me, Boogie's going to stir up our wet mixture really good and then we're going to add it to our dry mixture. Go ahead. Okay, so our next step, now that we got our mix, our uh, wet ingredients mixed with our dry ingredients, we're going to dump it out on our floured surface and knead it until it gets good and firm. You want to make sure you don't overdo it because it'll make your scones hard as a rock if you do it too much. I have you just want to get it just right. So that's what we're going to do now. Yeah. And Bird here is going to help me with it. Next thing, once you get done, the way I do it, I'll roll it into a log and you're going to take and you're going to split it in half. Okay. Let me get a knife. Uh, wait, I'm going to do it with a knife. Uh, split it in half, just like that. And we're going to 
we'll set part of it to the side. And we're going to take this one and make it into, of butter. into a ball. Oh, kind of it's butter. fine. There's going to be some chunks in it. Yeah, can I do it? Chunky, 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 chunky. Now that we got a ball, what we're gonna do is push it down to where yeah. we have a wait a minute, okay. wait a minute. We're gonna push it down till we have a circle about eight inches wide and you want the dough to be about that thick. Okay. So we're gonna take just do that until I tell you to stop. I'll do it. Keep going. Push it. It's like I'm a cookie dough, but it's actually coming out in a, in a pumpkin shape. Alright. Now what you're gonna do, you're gonna cut it like you would a pie. You're gonna get eight slices out of it. So that's what we're gonna do now. Am I gonna do it? I'm gonna do it. I don't want you messing with the knife. Now, what do I do next, Daddy? Wait a minute. I'll be putting the dough in, so. Now, I'm Put your just, fingers, please. I'm just playing with the dough. Okay, you're gonna do the same thing with the other ball that you'll make, and then we're gonna put them on a lined uh, baking sheet. Will I do it? Hey, Dad. So we got them all cut out and on our baking sheet as you saw. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to brush a little bit of milk on top of it. And then we're going to put it in our oven for 12 to 15 minutes or until the top's golden brown. And Bear just turned the light off. Anyways. We'll do that. I'm going to clean up and then once we pull them out, I'll be back with you. step we got to let them cool for a little bit and then we're gonna make a glaze <clears throat> for the glaze all you do is you take so I got it written down here you take well, where'd, where'd it go two cups of powdered sugar with three tablespoons of whole milk and a quarter teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice and mix that up and then you just drizzle it over each little wedge so I'm gonna let these cool and do that, and then we're gonna eat them. So, So we hope you guys enjoyed this little video here. I know I'm not the best presenter in the world, but anyways, I got my point across. <clears throat> hope you all enjoy this. If you do like them, let us know how they turned out for you in the comments below. Um, I definitely would like to hear some feedback. Uh, give us a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. Thanks.